What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Today we want to head to the Amidar Mountains. Before we do that, though, if we head back over to Pazus, and go around these stupid people blocking my way, then we can go into the guild. And waiting there for us is another new job by the name of Play Cupid. Seems pretty simple. So, we have to head over to the inn to meet the client. I believe client is on floor number two. Uh, right. Pretty sure he's in one of these rooms. Is it this one? Indeed it is! Balbalard, huh? Well, good for you. Uh, sure. I mean, that's what you pay me for, right? Not exactly our typical job, but, uh, there's some pretty odd jobs out there, so, whatever. So, mm -hmm. not exactly asking questions. Oh, really? That seems pretty random. Well, okay then. It, it seems pretty typical that th something like that would happen. Because we just can't have a job that's just talk to this dude, talk to this girl, talk to this dude again. No, we gotta add in some monsters and treasure just to make it a little bit more interesting, huh? Are you gonna pay me extra? Well, okay then. I guess we better go retrieve them jewels. Uh, so, head out of town. And as the dude said, the monsters we are looking for are in the Anand Flats. Or did the dude say that? Or did the girl? Or did they both? I don't actually know. So, we got some enemies, and wanted monster Hellspawn. Okay, so let's go with what seems to be our a fairly, like, pretty much the default setup. Oh, geez. Uh, okay, well, let's not use Pondit, because he's kind of a mess. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, sure. Let's sh let's show off Sonya. See what she can do. Oh, Elk's in pretty rough shape as well, but we can just heal him up easy enough. Okay, so let's see. Thirty-four magic. That's pretty good. Considering Shanti has 23, Lisa has 22, Elk has 21. 34 magic is quite a lot. She's got the black card. Hmm. So I might as well give her the water staff. I'm pretty sure an illusion robe would be better, at least in the long run. And surely I've, I've got something better than strength and fruit for her. Do I not have, like, shoulder guards or something? She does, definitely doesn't need the king's image. Hm. I guess not. Oh well. Sonya, one of the other interesting things about Sonya is she's also actually the only...
character in the game who... Maybe not the only one, but she's... Uh, she's uses, uh, she's a dark elemental character, which is very uncommon. So that can come in handy. Though, honestly, I... I don't really know how useful it actually is, come to think of it. It's, on, it's interesting, if nothing else, though. This is not a very good place to be starting this fight. Oh god, are we gonna have a repeat of the last battle? What level are these guys? They're only level 48. I don't know what's going on here. Why all my attacks are proving to be ineffective. I really don't like this battle map. It's very narrow. I mean, I guess it's gonna force the enemies to uh, group up and stuff. Did I actually end up healing Elk? I honestly... I'm not sure if I did. That might be bad. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll do an explosion right there. Can I actually reach anything? I think... Oh, okay, so that's a... Uh, like a big wide range attack. Voodoo doll attack. I'm not quite sure what that means. I guess it's just like a melee range. Can't recall what random die does. These two abilities are pretty interesting. Transfer in particular. Uh, it allows you to instantly give uh, an ally a turn, which can come in very handy, but I think I'm just gonna go with Shuffle Shot. It's kind of her main attack. And it's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure Lisa can't do anything from here. Stick Shanti back here, where she's kind of out of the way a little bit. Yay, Tosh can finally get in on the action. Let's see if I can paralyze this guy. Indeed I can! Oh, that's good. Oh, the bad guys are nice and grouped up. It's nice being able to kind of let loose a little bit with uh, the spells here. You can't really do that when you're in a dungeon or something, but it's just something on the world map. It's uh, nice to be able to do. Oh wow, the wanted dude is dead, it would seem. Okay. Down goes him. And we got the jewelry. And I apparently can't reach that guy. That's kind of lame. It's kind of unfortunate how long it takes Shanti to learn uh, higher levels of Diamond Dust. She learns level 1 Diamond Dust quite late as well, so... But, whatever. Take what you can get. And... we're done in here. Alrighty, so we're back here in the Paisus Inn. Indeed I did! Uh, go get her? So, what is that? Is that job complete right there? Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, 
so I guess that everything is all good then. Uh, I sure hope the guy left me uh, my payment at the guild. Indeed he did. So, all is well. And I get the payment for that uh, one monster hell spawn as well. So, uh, now on to Mount Amadar. See, I told you we would get to Mount Amadar today. You thought I would spend all episode on that guild job, but you were wrong. I remember this place. The battle on this map was very annoying in the last game. Oh hey, it's that dude. Uh, I honestly not really sure. Recently, huh? I'm good at punching people, is that good enough? That's pretty powerful. Amidar Fist, huh? I'm not sure why he's so set on receiving this Ambidar Fist. It doesn't seem like it's something that would be even that useful. Well, that was an impressive light show. Okay then. What, you read the scripture already? Or was its knowledge just like implanted into your brain when you received the Amidar Fist ability? You look pretty alive to me. Well, we uh, we put the casters in the back around these parts, Ark. At least when we can. We try to. Well, that's that. Uh, so I guess all of that was just to learn the Amidar Fist ability, which may or may not end up being useful. I guess we'll find out. But for now, I leave you here on this episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Catch you later.